Hello everyone, Jabo Pones here, uh, and no, I'm not that guy. <laughs> Alright, so today I'm just going to try to put together a little bit of a guide, because I've seen a couple videos uh, on YouTube for this that aren't really guides. They're just really quick, kind of pathetic explanations, if you ask me. So I'm going to actually compose a guide for this, and if people want to... They can find it, and it hopefully it helps people out. If not, whatever, it'll always be there. But of course, there's probably going to be updates to where, you know, no one even needs this stuff or something. So, I, anyway, I need to get this item, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, the Forger's Fishing Rod. And uh, the only way to obtain this is you need 20 silver, silvering, silvering, HQ fish, whatever those are called. Silver, silver stoves. We'll call them that for now. <laughs> it's uh, basically just a fish that we're going to need to trade to get this fishing rod. So our quest is to obtain 20 of these fish, which, which you know, isn't a lot. It isn't too much. So hopefully it doesn't take us too long. Uh, this fishing rod will give us a gathering of 143 and perception plus 82. Uh, let's see. So, to start off, we're going to talk about the gear you have for fishing. Now, for me, my gathering is at 324, because uh, I already have all this other gear, like, pretty much melded and, and super ready because of my, uh, my mining and, and botany. But... They say the recommended gathering is 300, and the recommended perception is 250 plus. So it seems we are meeting these requirements as as so far. So uh, next we need to get our bait. Now I know there's a couple of leaves that you can do the bait for, but you can also do this with goldsmithing. Uh, for the for the leaves, there's also a quest. Uh, there's a quest in Lenosia side quest, which is given to you <clears throat> at level 50. Uh, I believe this is one of the fishing fishing side quests uh, for that. Uh, also, let's see. Uh, also, putting the zap on nature. Uh, which is the client Sons of St. Sealnatch Catalog? Catalogger? Uh, Clifton Crabby? St. Coins Find? I believe that's in uh, Moor Dahona. Uh, let's see. Awash in Evidence? Uh, snails fail and sleeper creeper. I believe these are all uh, fishing leaves. So if you do those, you can also obtain this item. Well, we're gonna go the easy route just to try to save some time, and I'm going to uh, craft craft these. The only thing I'm really gonna I think I have cobalt ingots and uh, snurble tufts. Uh, I'm just gonna have to buy. Black lip oysters, or I believe you can fish them up. Uh, I'm sure there's some way you can find out. Uh, if anything, I'll you know leave a comment if you need to know where to, to fish those oysters, and I will look that stuff up for you and post it in the comments. So we have our materials to make our, our bait that we're going to be needing, our lure. Uh, so we have six wind shards and six fire shards. Uh, I've also picked up some cobalt ingots which on my server are really not that expensive. I could have mined them all and everything, but I'm just going to save time by do and do that stuff later if I need to. Uh, some Snurble Tufts, which I already had a bunch, and Black Lip Oysters, which uh, are pretty, you know, they're not expensive, but they have a pretty nice little price on them here uh, on this server. So we have those things. Let's go ahead and craft a sum up. Now, I'm not going to need any HQ or high-quality ones, so I'm just going to make them. 
I don't even, I don't even think you can really make a high quality one of these, really. Uh, even, even if I was to HQ this, it probably wouldn't matter, so. Uh, you see these do make three at a time. They do stack. So that's good. So we'll craft these up and then we'll head to our uh, fishing destination. Alright, so now we have our baits all set up. Let's get those equipped. There we go. Now we're going to want to head to the Morberry Dry Docks, which is in Lower Lanosia. Or Lanosia, or whatever you call it. I don't care. Let's get some fish. Now, the things they say are the best places to fish are around the Ocean's Torch. Ocean's. Ocean's Torch. So basically anywhere around here is going to be good. So I'm just going to head up to the top over here. And let's catch ourselves some silver goodies. Silverfish goodies. Uh, they also... Also, some of the things I've read say that at nighttime is a better, better time to do the fishing. So, lucky for me, it's nighttime. Let's make this happen. Let's go ahead and take ourselves a seat here. Alright, so if you see I'm out here, got my fishing rod going. You no, know, we're. We're out by the lighthouse. We're going to catch us some nice fishies, hopefully. Yay! So there we go. The two star fish. As you can see, I caught one, but it was only an NQ. Don't really need those too much. Uh, but there we go, we caught an HQ one. And of course we need 20 of these, so this is going to take a little while. Uh, my clock set up there at 6.38 a.m., which is set on Eorzea time. I uh, don't believe the time actually matters, but I guess some people believe things like, you know, the times and stuff that matters and the, the greater the chance or whatever. Uh, this only took me a few minutes to get, and as you can see, I'm going to continue fishing to try to get my 20. I hope you guys, you know, the best of luck to getting yours. If this has been any kind of help to you, please just hit that like button. Oh, that's some more oyster. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.